could my math have been off? The south would be north. Uh, it was too high. Let's try this. It would be 193. Be 203. There it is. <laughs> I keep forgetting because um, I'm used to working with the XY plane because, you know, I'm teaching algebra right now. And actually, what we're doing is in Minecraft, we're on the XZ plane. And so the coordinates in the Z axis are opposite of what they are in the Y axis. And I got to remember that. And it's like. <sighs> oh, Anyways, hey there, lads and lasses. <laughs> This here is Thunder N64 coming at you live from the Generations Minecraft Realm server at 8.38 in the evening. Yeah, a full hour and 38 minutes past our usual starting time. Yeah, I had to work very, very late. Some of my students are overseas and I have to administer assessments for them. And so we, I have to work very late sometimes to accommodate their time schedule. But we are done with that and now we can do a little bit of streaming. So... Um, at the very beginning of the stream, I was uh, a human pish, human ish, anyway, pin cushion, all stuck with arrows and whatnot. Because uh, when I spawned into here, this whole area was just swarmed with mobs. I have no idea why. Anyways, um, what am I doing in this area? Well, I found some gravel, gravelly mountains. So if you look on my uh, biome over there, where it says biome, you'll see mountains. But if you move down around a little bit let's get out a third person let's see it change and it gets over into that gravelly mountain gravelly mountains there we are and we needed a whole bunch of gravel and i mined all of this gravel out here because we need a lot of concrete yes we do and so we need a lot of gravel we have a lot of sand so i have e er sun i have five shulkers worth of worth of gravel that might be enough i want four double chests of gravel that might be enough let's head on back anyway and we got a bunch of junk in our inventory but we might fill up a little bit more stuff in our inventory here we might get a little bit more gravel and just put it in our inventory and then we're gonna fly 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 away that's what we're gonna do just like that we may even say that when we fly away we'll see our shovels getting down there a little bit if you see but 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 we should still have enough to at least get more stacks for the inventory so let's come over here and let's skim off a couple layers over here on the side I will take off these top layers. That should be easy, easy enough. And then we'll be on our way. We'll be on our way back. And we shouldn't need any MOA. That should be enough. But if so, we could just fly back here. As you can see, I'm at uh, negative uh, 3,600 ish and positive 200 ish. And so we're right around there. It's not too far away from zero, zero. Flying with rockets, that's a pretty darn place. It's a hop, skip, and a jump. Or mainly one really long jump. With Elytra and rockets. So I was over at Oscar Digstream prior to logging on here, paying a visit and saying hi and whatnot. And he's still clearing out his jungle over there and making great progress on it. We have a power tool. If you haven't checked out Oscar Stream, please make sure you do. He's a great streamer and a great guy. And you shouldn't be regretting it. I shouldn't be so picky on how I'm mining this stuff. I should just mine it and get out of here. So I went in, um, took up Jepo Tastic on her suggestion to put the silk touch on a shovel. That way when I'm mining the gravel, I don't uh, lose blocks of gravel to flint. Because right? I don't really need the flint. 
Well, I went and had did that. That's my first time ever in all all my years of playing this game. So I took it up on that, and uh, there's no going back now. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. I think we can get rid of some of these things. Like, uh, maybe we don't need the uh, leather cap. I don't know. Right, well, let's, let's just hang on to this stuff. All right, let's get out of here. I think we have enough. All right, so we need to head back west and slightly northward right over here. And look, that sun's about to go down again. So look, what was that? There we go. That's better. Let's head on home, shall we? And my chunks are loading pretty darn slow here. But they shouldn't be because this is the way by which I can run from the car. Well, I'm going much too far. I need to come back this way. So. That's better. Yeah, we're going to be doing some night flying here, but that should be okay. Hey, Colin! Well, hello, sir. Well, hello, sir. How are you? Thanks for migrating over. And um, I'm looking forward to your 24-hour stream um, this weekend. As you can see, I gave you the follow. And for those of you watching the VOD later, you should go over to Colin's stream and check it out. I gotta pay attention to my coordinates. There we go. We're gonna do a little night flying here. Slightly back this way. There we go. Uh oh, H2 no hydrate. Launcher. And as I live and breathe, if it isn't the Tron slime. So now we got Colin and the Tron Slime in here. Now we're going to have a party, folks. What's up? Dude, it's been days. Where have you been? We've missed you. So for, the, for those of you not in the know, uh, the Tron Slime and I, uh, two weekends ago, did another co-stream over at the Shrimp Ramen SMP server, and um, it was hilarious. Please go check out the VOD if you weren't able to attend. I would say a good time was had by all. All right, I've been caught up with real life things. Hey, I understand. I understand. Myself as well, you know, that's why I started the stream very late this evening. But pretty soon we'll be finishing up at the school at the end of, uh, in about maybe two more weeks. When I mean finishing up, I mean finishing up as, as in not working there any longer, resigning. And then uh, we're going to start our own business here, and that's going to be pretty tough for a little while. But I should have a little bit more time here to do some stream stuff. A little bit, not much. Starting up our own sole proprietorship here is going to be really tough without any startup funds or anything, but we should be able to do it. Hey, you know where this is? This is Mushroom Island West, and I'm going to drop on in Kakachi's base over here on Mushroom Island West, and this is where I'm going to bunk down for the evening, everyone. And hey, thank you so much for the sub, Colin. Thank you so much, man. Greatly appreciated it. And let me see. And good Lord, from the East Coast, very late indeed for you this evening, Mr. Big Bean Theory. How are you doing? Sounds fun, not with the resigning part, part but mostly, really, but everything else seems fun. Yeah, well, you know, the resigning part is going to be fun. You know, I put in a good amount of years over there. I had a good time there and stuff. And now, you know, I'm going to be bold and adventurous. Sure, it's going to be tight for cash for a little while, but, you know, we're going to be running our own show. We're going to be doing our own thing, calling all our own shots. And so that's that's exciting. 
That's exciting. Uh, it's going to be tough. It's not going to be easy. It's probably going to be the hardest thing I've ever done, uh, especially at my age because I'm really old. So, but uh, we're going to go for it. We're going to go for it. And we're hoping everything's going to be very, very cool. I think it shall be. And good lord, Jeppo too. All right, let's let's take a roll call here. So we have Colin, we have the Tron Slime, we have Big Bean Theory, we have Jeppo Tastic. Good God, you guys! I should stream later more often. <laughs> Almost over. So, um, you guys missed a really fun stream on Tuesday where we were digging gravel and sand. That was. Pretty exhausted, Big Bean Theory says. Uh, went to play tennis today with some friends. Played for wow, you played tennis for six hours? That's some stamina. That is some stamina. Sir, I'm impressed. Ah. Uh, so, uh, Kachi looks like a creeper went off here. <laughs> but that's okay. Yep, oh, fantastic. How is everybody? My body can't handle another stream that extent. Yes. I think your mind can't handle it. <laughs> There's some Thunderhand tediousness for you. I'm going to I'm going to mine sand for two hours. <laughs> I don't know though. I think it's kind of relaxing. All right, so the idea is uh, we need to build our hotel, and our hotel is going to involve a lot of white concrete. And white concrete is going to require white dye, and white dye is going to requ require bone meal, and then we're going to require sand and gravel. And so we got our sand, and now we're loading up with the gravel. Uh, it was a little slow getting the gravel because we had to find some gravelly mountains, but eventually we did, so... We hit the gravel jackpot, so to say. Now we're bringing it on home, as Led Zeppelin says. All my junk drawers are getting full here. And here we go. Oscar Diggs must have just finished his stream. Oscar Diggs, how you doing? And thank you. You know, I, Oscar's had a long day, everybody. He has. And it's really cool for him to stop on by as well. Good Lord. The gang's all here, everybody. So much fun. All right. Now, we have many, many, many. Many isn't five. Really. So that would be many, 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 many. Shulkers full of gravel to unload here. There we go. Let's get this done, shall we? E. R. Done. Z. There we go. All right, let's do this. Then we might fashion ourselves a pretty crude um, concrete maker if we have enough time. I think we shall. So gearing up to build our hotel. We still have a little bit of design work left to do on the hotel. Not a, not a lot. There it is. We still have uh, some tweaks we have to make to the suites in there. And then um, then we have to design the lobby. The lobby might take a little bit design-wise. It might. But once we have those two things uh, planned out well enough, then we can start building. Start transferring it into here. And then once that's complete enough, at least the lobby and the first level of rooms... Then we can start inviting our friends on. That's going to be fun. 
You're early, yeah. Uh, I did. I was thinking it might take as uh, late as 9 o'clock, but my uh, student finished up, and I finished up pretty early and did a spectacular job, and so that makes grading a little bit faster, right? It's nice when the students know what they're doing because then grading's easier. And uh, so I was able to get in here a little bit earlier. That means I get to finish earlier, too. That means hopefully I can uh, make things a little easier on you guys. Came to hang out with the cool kids. Indeed. <laughs> Colin. Well, hello, Oscar. Been a while. <laughs> yeah. Is it a few minutes? <laughs> Room 101, baby. You got it. Seems like this is a place to be this evening. So, Oscar, how did your stream finish up? I uh, Let me see. Uh, it went on for about maybe, I'd say, a half an hour uh, after I left. Maybe a little bit more. We need a couple of more chestnuts, as Katya used to call them. I need more of my chestnuts. We go. Maybe about. Maybe about two more. And then we're going to need some more item frames. And yes, cows, you should be nervous because we need more item frames. Cows are like, mmm, moo. Uh, let me see. I think I can get this angle a little bit better from here. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I think it's a little easier if I put these back ones in over here. Uh-oh, some of the item frames, I knocked them off. Ah, oh, because of gravel, that's right. Ah, thunder. All right, I'll just have to put them back on. Gee, why does it take you so long to build thunder? That, that, that's why. That's why. I'm doing things like that. I'm doing foolish things like that. But we'll get there. We'll get there. I promise. Yeah, so a few of these fell off, right? Like, boom, um, um, um. Maybe this wood frame fell off. Gotta do the old shift thing. Gotta come over here and we gotta put the old block of wood back on. Done. <laughs> Imagine meeting you here, Colin. Stream finished up pretty much like it started. Okay. With ninjas and unicorns? And Colin has to lurk for a little bit. That's cool. With, with filling in more water in the jungle. All right, we'll get some bone and some bone meal. Boy, are we going to need a lot of this. Uh, item frame inside an item frame. This is the chest in which I keep all of my item frames. Got a little meta thing going on there with the item frame inside the item frame. If only I could put an item frame inside an item frame inside an item frame. Oh, like the mirror effect with the double mirror. That would be so cool. And then Draken's in here too. Draken was probably lurking too. But look, he dropped in to say howdy to make sure we knew he, that he was here, not just lurking. Oscar saying, uh, Jeppo, no ninjas and unicorns, just terraforming and spamming blocks in pools. Yep. Yeah, maybe next time. We can always hope. One can always hope. So there must be a mod in, in Minecraft. Somebody must have made a unicorn mod with the horses in Minecraft, right? I mean... Someone must have done. I think we can make this another gravelly chest. Or, at the very least, we can make it a... I won't say it. One of those kind of chests. 
All right, now I'm going to need an extra item frame. Mm. Eh. Mm. How many more of these do we have to go? I'm going to say about two more item frames, right? And so plenty of leather. Okay, cows that are presently jammed in there in a very inhumane manner. Uh, you can chill. We still have enough leather left from the last um, harvest, shall we say. <laughs> Uh, and you know what? Let's just go ahead and make a bunch of those because we're going to be using more of them. There we go. Junk drawer. Yep, got it. Get rid of it here like that. And, 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 like this. And then one more up there. We, we may have to use, wind up using all of these, but we'll see. Boom shakalaka. That's what I like to see. Oh, Pope is a dangerous thing. It can drive a man insane. Uh, yeah, sometimes, maybe. Speaking of which, not driving men insane, although it might be applicable. But as far as hope is concerned, How's your living situation going on uh, over there, Jeppo? Oh, by the way, we still have uh, opportunities for uh, Kachi Third Person Sleep Redemption and Bastion Faceplant Sleep Redemption, too. Shawshank, anyone? Yeah. Hope is a dangerous thing. Yeah, there you go. Shawshank Redemption. That's what I was trying to do. I, I'm thinking, hmm, and that's from something. What's that from? Come on, part one. Escape plan success. Nice. Okay, I think that's temporary evacuation over to your friend's house, right? And then from there, then into your own place. Your your new place, right? Yep, all kinds of excite. Throw confetti. Oh, Jesus. That's like a redemption. Realize I'm now I'm going to have to clean this up afterwards. One of my students tests. I'm kidding. Although, this is what I do when I find them using unauthorized notes. I like to make a show of it. There. Okay. Confetti thrown. Now I'm going to have to clean this up after. Don't worry, I'll recycle it. Why not? We're having a party, right? <laughs> we! <laughs> we indeed! Okay. Do we have anything, any kind of equivalent in Minecraft? Maybe that? Like that? <laughs> there we go. That's the last of my rockets, too. All covered with confetti. Uh, you know what else we could do? We could always do this. Because, you know, we have oh so much. We're so filthy rich here. The old Minecraft server, anyway. There we go. 
suppose we could do something like... Can I? There you go. There you go. Okay, that's as close in Minecraft, I guess, as we can get to throwing confetti. Woo! And am I going to throw the whole stack in the air? Yes, I am. The whole thing. The whole nine yards. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to clean up my mess. Yeah, you can tell I'm a parent, right? <laughs> Okay, anyways. Where am I going to put this stuff now? <laughs> Looks like I left one somewhere. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to work. There, got it. Okay. I bet you the Iron Golem took it, right? You probably took it, didn't you? Whatever. Um, yeah, moving on. Oh, we only had 36 anyway. Okay, that's right. Uh, I need to put this back over in the chest, and then uh, we can get on. Uh, <laughs> let me see. Who's got to clean that up? Me. That's who. <laughs> that's a nice confetti shower. Uh, I'm looking for what my advice command gave me. Beppo made me think about it. With the hope can drive a man insane comments. <laughs> I actually have no room for this sugar cane. This thing is producing so much. How are the pumpkins doing, by the way? Ah, yeah, pumpkins are doing okay. You know, I am concerned, though, that some of the stems are not growing still. I may have to get in there and bone meal some of these stems. You can see a lot of them still aren't growing. Huh. All right. Well, that might be a Saturday task. Maybe because sunlight's not hitting them or something, so they won't grow. But once they're already grown... Huh. Yeah, once they're already grown. So I may have to bone meal those things. Yeah, probably. All right. So be it. All right, we're going to have to start a new row of chests up here. Getting more and more junk. All right, well, we s I think we have enough gravel because we have this one here. We should have... Fuck. You know, we're a little bit short, but I think we'll be okay. Yeah, I can always fly back over and get a little bit more. Maybe like one more shulker. I think we'll be all set. Great. Okay, uh, so sand, check. Concrete, check. Now we need a whole bunch of bone meal uh, and white dye. And so I am going to now how much white dye am I gonna uh, four four I'm I only need one double chest of white dye so I should be okay All right so let's do a little bit of math let's grab some white dye because I know I have white dye in a few different locations. And any other booms, booms that we might see. And plus this helps organize our chest too while we're at it. And it's so thrilling to watch! <laughs> right on the edge of my seat, I just don't know what he's gonna do next. <laughs> Will it be in this chest? Maybe it'll be in the other chest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me see. What's your tick speed? Probably needs more light. It still needs light to go fast. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it probably grows faster with more light, right? Now, old impulse, you know, uh, old. old impulse there. He didn't use any lighting on his, but 
you know what? His was like three times the size of mine. And so we're, we're talking about the pumpkin farms people and family stream. And, you know, I think, yeah, see, because look, they all grew next to the side here where the light's coming in. But notice they didn't, go, and they grew down here where I have some lighting at the bottom. But notice they didn't grow in the middle. And so, yeah, lighting's a thing. And you know what? I meant to do some jack-o'-lantern lighting here, but I didn't know quite how to go about it. But now that I'm looking at it, I think... Now that I'm looking at it, I have some ideas. Yeah, I think I'm just going to put in some lighting here along these columns. I really like the nice, solid quartz brick columns like that. It looks really cool. But uh, you know what? We need some lighting. Yeah, and I have an even number of glass in between each one of these. Ah. Oh, I, th I think I know what I can do, though. Yeah, I think I know what I can do. All right. I might need more confetti. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Draken was lurking, but he's back. Draken's my, my co-pilot. Okay, I think we I think we have some stuff here to get started, right? So, uh, let's do this. Let's do that. Uh, and I think. Okay, so white dye is one for one, I believe. So bone meal, we get three bone meals uh, per bone. So you can think of it as being one. Got it. Okay. We should be good. So there's our first stack. Got our bits here. No, d d d d d hands. Don't do that, hands. You know what I was thinking, though. It's starting to get dark. It's time to sleep. I just gotten the notification that you went live when I popped in. Yeah, I did go a little bit earlier. Then I advertised I was able to be able to able to be able to. There's a redundancy. I was able to get in here a little bit earlier than uh, than I thought, which I think is a good thing. The desk's a mess now. Up. The night stream throwing confetti and then cleaning it up. I'm gonna leave that right there. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go over and let me see. Fill up these chokers full of bones, and we know where to go for that because we made ourselves a ridiculous mob farm. That we made a silly little slap together mob farm that has been an un unexpected, a very unexpected success story here on the <laughs> Generations Minecraft Realm server. I cannot believe how well it functions. It's so ridiculous. In fact, you know what? I just may put some automation on it. And... I may put some automation on it and get it working. So... Although that's a little weird. I mean, I know I'm a little bit further away, but usually... Huh. The mob farm. Oh, okay, there we go. Now we're working. Good. All right. Chunks needed to update. Ooh, look, we've got so much here. We're actually being wasteful. Hey, 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 with the... With the... Come on. 
Let's just set these all up right here. We'll fill them up with the boons. Right. Let's clear all the bones out first. And we'll sort the other stuff. I think I can get close enough to that floaty stuff right there. I think I can. Oh yeah, the hoppers have the bones in them. Ah, there. That's that's what's happening. That's what's happening there. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. And how about the <laughs> Oh man, really with the Elytra? Come on. We should have a lot of bones and bone meal up in here. Uh, let me see. That's the uh, arrows. Ah, there we go. I think I was somewhat ambitious, a little presumptuous, putting five shulkers down here, but uh, shulker chest down here. But you know what? I think I'm entitled. All right, let's do a little bit of this. Let's do a little organization while we're here. Doing. I'm saving the arrows. I mean, I, I wish I could burn them and use them in a furnace, but such is Minecraft. Well, if you don't have infinity yet, you're all set on the server. And I think that's all we need to do for now. We're good. And let's see. Gepo says she's going to be right back. Okay. And let's see if we have any of the goodies in question over here and some of this stuff too. Uh, let me see. Zombie flare. Uh, any bones? No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, we got a little bit right there. A little white dye right there. See, we're helping clean out the chests here. We're cleaning up after ourselves. Right, right. Right. Looking good. And there's one more place that we have to check. In which we have to check. At which we have to check. <sighs> I guess I should have gotten some rockets while I was at it, huh? Gravel! When I get over to the portal room, there's an ender chest there. I can grab rockets. We can fly back. <laughs> right now, we're skipping across the roof of the nether. There's a warp stem farm. From back in the good old days. And I don't think... Uh, all of you have seen the updated portal room. We finished the ceiling in there. It did post some pics of it on Discord, though, so you may have. You may have. But it looks really cool. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, so this is this is the portal room. This is the updates to it. We finished the ceiling of it. We banged that out on Saturday. The walls are pretty much finished. I'm going to pretty much keep them like that. And now it's just a matter of getting the floor in shape and then uh, doing our little tiny indoor pyramid here with the ender portal. And I have a plan to do some stuff underneath that too. You found the quote you were looking for. And what would that be? I have an advice command in my channel now. Okay. And this is what it gave me today. Okay. The higher up you are in company, the more likely it is that your boss is a psycho. So I'm currently the assistant principal at my school. <laughs> There's really uh, only the principal and the CEO. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Time to resign. <laughs> Definitely. There's some justification for my resignation, okay? Anything else in here that I need? Uh, any, any bones? Uh, yeah, yeah. See, we got a little bit. I know I'm scrounging at this point, but I'm also doing doing a little bit of cleanup. That's Kanji stuff. I'll leave that alone. That's also Kanji stuff. All right, we got to get some rockets for the flight back. The rocket box. Ooh, that's fun to say. Rocket box. Do that. Do that. We're good. Let's head on back with what we have. I don't think we have any other bone stasher on server. <laughs> well, I guess now I'm going to start a sole proprietorship, so how would that apply? If I'm sole proprietor, then I'm the number one dude, so that would make me a psychopath, <laughs> I guess. I'd be the highest guy up in my... <laughs> because I'd be the only one. <laughs> Hello, Lila Lama. All right, I think we're good here. Oh, you know what? Sometimes I stash some bone meal over in the food chests over here. Yeah, see, a little bit. Just a little bit. Why is there an enterprise? Really? Really? These are things uh, that should not be in here. It's food stuff. Okay, good. Awk, we're gonna have to take a nap now. Remember, if you're if you want to do points redemptions, uh, we could do Kachi uh, third person sleep, and we could do Bastion faceplant sleep, which is always a, f a spectacle. One's just oddly amusing; the other's a spectacle. So let me see here. And here we are. All right. Um, I think we're finished with the shulkers. No, we're not. Get back here. Okay. We do have some junk, though, that we have to get rid of. Like that. And that. And we have chests for everything else. Okay. 
gun. I think it's this chest, right? That was a parcel. There we go. Okay, that's looking good. Right, we've got some white dye. We need to mark that one. Thusly. White dye, not bone meal. Okay, so let's go set ourselves up here. Let's get rid of this dirt. No, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. Now I think I just have to do these one at a time, right? Well, if this isn't tedious, I don't know what is. What's he going to do next? Who's going to load the bone meal? Oh, white dye came out. Incredible. Loving the tunes. Yeah, I've got a uh, Pretzel Rocks uh, metal um, station on right now. And it's okay. It's, it's pretty good. I wish I had more instrumental stuff on there, but... But I guess that's up to me to do that, right? I did order the parts for my base, and uh, they were out of stock. And we're going to take four months to ship, and I said, yeah, you know, that's unacceptable. Although, you know, I do feel bad because I do understand, you know, COVID and stuff like that. But, you know, that's just too long to wait. So I ordered them direct from Hitch Hipshot in Pennsylvania. And um, I don't know. We'll see how long it takes. Um, hopefully less than a month. <laughs> because uh, my hands are starting to tighten up now, you know. And uh, I'm using my BC Rich back there, but it's, you know. BC Rich needs some work, so. It needs some electronics work on it and stuff. And, you know, I'll be able to get around to that, too, once I'm, once I'm finished up at the school, so that'll be cool. Hmm. Offhand? There, like that. Okay. Now we can do a one for one like this. Is there any faster way to do this, guys? I mean, I, I can't, like, do that kind of thing because that'll give me a bone meal block. You know, so. I think I just have to do this a stack at a time, right? Yeah, I think it's going to be a stack at a time from here on out. Yeah, it's not too bad, but... But I think we're going to be doing okay here. how much that will give us. Need 18 more. 17. Three, four, five, six. Here we go. Here's 10 of them now. Loving it. That's pretty good. Now we'll just have to wait for, for some more skellies to fall. But I think we'll be all set. So materials-wise, resource gathering, I think we did pretty darn good here. Well, we came up with about four stacks short. But those skellies will make that up. Plus, I may not have emptied these out entirely. Oh, we're, yeah, we're set. We are so set. Our ridiculous little uh, mob farm came through for us. 
I'm going to have to turn in, sir. Have a great rest of your stream. Oscar Diggs, thanks for stepping by and uh, stopping by. I know it's uh, late for you, so I really appreciate it. Really appreciate it, my friend. I hope the contractor has left by now. There we go. Then we said we needed what? Four stacks. One, two, three, four, and we're good. We're good right there. Now we have everything that we need with which to make our white concrete. And I understand I'm putting bone meal in the bones chest plus this. You know what? Good enough. Because I'm the boss and I'm a psychopath. <laughs> So Oscar has an advice function, huh? On his uh, an advice command. Interesting. That'd be cool if you could rig it up to be like a magic eight ball thing, right? I wonder if you could do that with like a random number generator. Because I, I wrote a C++ program like that once for my anthropology class. And so you would ask the program, the program, you would type in you would type in a question, but it'd have to be a yes or no question. And then the random number generator would, um, let me see, did I do it even odd or did I do it prime and composite? I think I did prime and composite. And so random number generator would generate a number. And if it was uh, composite, it would be yes. And if it was prime, it would be no. And so it was like a magic eight ball thing. It was pretty fun. It'd be cool if you could do that kind of thing here. I wonder, wonder if a little little JavaScript would do that or something. Maybe. Huh. Think about. Streamlabs, you need a random number generator. Sure, Thunder. Yeah, no problem. We'll get right on that. Okay, uh, so we're good here, I think. Uh, let me see, we're at 9.30. What time did I start? 8.30, so we are we need to switch to standing mode so we can do that. The confetti is everywhere. Yeah, chip em. Bring out the worst in me. You really do, but it's always fun. Oh, the times when I was young, and I've said that. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we need to make a concrete machine. And the idea behind that was I was going to put that over here. Right about here-ish. And then set up an AFK. And pretty much do that. And I wasn't going to make a huge industrial one. I'll do that a little bit later. In fact, I'm going to fly around and I'm going to get one of the small islands uh, that, you know, isn't really good for anything. You know, it's just basically a rock in the sea. We've got a lot of those very close by Mushroom Island Central here. And I'll, I'm going to put farms on some of those, right? And so uh, I'll make one of those the concrete island because we plan on doing a lot of building with concrete in this volume. So let's lay out the area here and we'll put our little concrete machine right over here. Let's fill in some of this stuff. Right there, I think we're doing okay. All right, we'll use a little bit of the dirt to mark things out. With which to mark things out, I think. Uh, let me try this out here. Uh, let me see. This is going to wind up being 
I want to build there. Okay, so I'm going to build inside of this. Actually, let's make, make the borders here. That here's the other one. I'm going to build it inside this area. Right. Great. I'll sleep. Okay, so we'll build it inside this box here. It won't be near this big, but... but that's thereabouts where we want it. Okay, and the design I was looking at is, of course, Logical Geek Boy. Wow, the hermits here are wrapping up their Season 7. It's probably because of Tango. Tango's so burned out from that Among Us that he built. Which is amazing, but he, it really fried him. Uh, let me see. I like that. And let me see. Concrete. That should do it. And he had a really cool design for this. As usual. I mean, he always does, but... But it was a nice, simple, little compact design because he's good like that. And I figured we could whip one of these together. Here we go. All right. So we're going to need some, let's see, polished andesite, some chests, one, four hoppers, some oak stairs, a dropper, not a dispenser. Okay. An observer, polished andesite slab, and a bucket of water. Okay. I think we can fit that everything in our inventory, but we're going to need to do some sleeping first. Done. Got it. Okay, so first things first, let's get some... Uh, now, he built his with polished andesite. That, that's okay. I guess we could do that, right? I might have some in here. Yeah, I have a little more than a stack. He says we need 10. I've got 14. That's fine. All right, uh, we need four uppers. Let's see if we have them. Oh, we might have them over here left over. No, but we definitely have the observers. So. Thought I had some hoppers over here somewhere. I'm not a chest designated for hoppers yet. I'm not that rich with the iron. Nope. Man, I thought I had some. Maybe in my toolbox I might have a couple of them. Oh, there we go. Five hoppers. We're good. We're good to go there. Uh, let me see. The oak stairs. He used oak stairs. I guess we could use any any wooden stairs that we would like, but um, how many stairs yield? Boy, that's fine. And what else do we have? Uh, observers. Polished andesite slabs. Okay, well, we can get those... Six. And let me see. Bucket of water. Yeah, we get, we definitely have that. So we need a dropper. I have to remember now. Dropper, I need a bull. Should have plenty of these junk bowls around, like this one. This one will do. All right, and I need a little bit of redstone. Now, dropper dispenser.
Now that's dispenser. Now what's the difference between dispenser and dropper? That's a dropper. Okay, got it. And we just need one. V. Now we shouldn't need any redstone. I don't think. You know what? We should carry some with us anyway, just in case. And we don't need the board. That can go back. Kraken, making as you go. It's kind of like uh, paycheck to paycheck. Yeah. be tough when we leave the school but it's gonna be fun old and adventurous all right what do we got going here logical what are we doing all right so that's the inventory let's let's go here come on stop that stop stop behave Alright, so we set down some double chesses, and you know what? That's that's the only thing I didn't get for the chest. And we have some right here in the old toolbox. And he didn't list those in the old ingredients, but we got lots of those. Okay. We got lots of those. Okay, now I'm not going to worry about centering this too much. I'm just going to get it right about. And you know what? If I have to change the direction that it's in later, that'll be fine. It'll be fine. So I'm going to guess that these should go maybe right about here. Like that. Two Harpers going in. One hopper going into those, got it. And let me see, I'm gonna do something like this. There we go. What's he got next here? Temporary block there, which for us will be dirt. The stair block that way, got it. Oh, because that's what we're going to wind up hitting. Just do it. All right, so here. Oh, yeah, we're going to need to pull her up for this. Got it. Here, we're going to need thusly. Right, looking good. And then he needs his AFK area. Right, he's gonna need something to stand on. Okay, and he's gonna put the observer in next. Yeah, that makes sense. Observer goes in this way, this away with the superfluous medial vowel. Thusly, and the anticite block behind it. All right, yeah. See, we're already running out of room. I mean, if it goes out of this area, that's not a big deal. Well, the dropper faces in like that, huh? They're like this, but it's on this side of that. And it's right here. All right, dropper goes here. Good. it. Upper on the back of that. Yeah, definitely, definitely like this. I think I see what he's doing here. Okay, that's going to supply that. Okay, got it. Just on top like that. I can move this later too if I need to, but... We're going to put ours like that. That should still work. And then what else do we have? OK, 
Okay, that's the standing area. See what you did there. Here's where we're going to stand when we need to AF. That. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. That's that's <laughs> that's where the other two stairs are. Cute. All right. Dirt block on top. Oh, now he's going to put a slab, right? Oh, interesting. Okay, I see. I see, said the blind man. That, we did that. Right? That's so we don't wind up drifting into the work area while wow, the beginning of the song sounds like sad but true by metallica <laughs> my favorite metallica song by the way as he picked up his hammer and saw <laughs> uh let me see so how does this look now we have the hopper which is on oh the hopper's on the side Right, and then uh, what did we do here? We put one on the stair like that, one on the back of the observer like that. That one, temporary block on top. Thusly, uh, 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 let's back it up. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. Let's see, we're gonna put the water in there pretty soon. We're gonna have to because it's gonna need to. The water stream will allow us to. Okay, I see what he's doing. All right. This will hold us in place. Like that. Right. Okay, and that should make our water stream for us, right? Thusly. Let me come around this side and break this. Good. Okay, almost there. Concrete powder. And you know what? We need to make the concrete powder, which we haven't done yet. We have 14 minutes to make all that white concrete powder. <laughs> So we need to fill up two shulkers. That's one double chest. Got it. Okay, we should be all set. So this is done. So what we'll do is we'll stand here with our... Now you got to pretend that this is concrete powder. When we put concrete powder down here, it'll update this. All right, it'll send a pulse into the dispenser. It'll pull the concrete powder out of here. And as we keep placing this and then knocking it uh, with our pickaxe, the formed concrete will fall down in here. The next piece of concrete powder will be spit out at our feet and go back into our inventory. And we'll keep just cycling that over and over as we're AFK. So that's the idea. All right, so let us, let us do a sleep. And then we have a whole bunch of white concrete powder to make. Thrilling! For craft away! Yes, definitely. 
But, you know, this is a nice little system. You know, I, I like this one. This isn't too bad. You know, and then we'll, later on, we'll build a big industrial one on one of the little islets, one of the little surrounding islets. Okay, we, we can load some of this stuff. Now, some of our off materials that we no longer need. These have chests that can go in. Oh, don't. Oh, so, yes, that. Should be okay. All things andesite go right into here. All right. Wow. Okay, I guess not. Uh, cobble might be the same situation. Uh, maybe not. Okay. Good stone can go back up here, and then we have a whole bunch concrete that we need to make we need to make two shulkers worth of concrete oh. like this all right so let's do this and let's do that oh that's my empty clothes okay and that's yep i should have taken empty chests out of it empty shulkers like that one and that one works so much better Right, moving on. <laughs> okay, so um, double chess, little bomb things. If I move a lot of this stuff temporarily into my Be okay. Um, then I can do this. Okay, we're gonna need. Let's do a row of sand. A row of gravel. see a little bit more sand three and a little bit more ground like that okay good so uh let me do this one two three four one two three four we'll go like that and do one pow that is a lot of white concrete powder good one, two, three, four. Let's put that down here and concrete power. Oh, wow. Doesn't have to be in that order. Nice. Of course, Thunder. What the? Ah, uh, chat. <laughs> You're supposed to help me with that. Thunder, why are you arranging them in that order? It just doesn't matter. Almost one shulker for sand yeah here we go Probably a little too much but that almost there need more gravel Hmm? There. 
That's better. And then just a little bit more. And that'll do it. One double chest of concrete coming up. White concrete. Then um, I think, you know, if I did this right, I could actually make two of these. Double chest. But you know what? We'll load up one for right now. Because uh, it's getting time. Getting near time to end the stream. Do your thing. There it is. Done and done. What am I doing? It works the other way, Thunder. You're putting it into... There you go, sport. There you go. <laughs> All right. And you know what? I'm going to leave one of these right here with which to craft some more concrete. Yeah. I'll take the other one with me. I'm going to put it inside this. Go away, bat. Yeah, I'll put it right about here. Okay, so let me see. Like that. Okay, and then we're supposed to take another step. Put our hand like this. And let me see. Now, how does he do this? He has a... Is this in his left hand? He has his pickaxe in the right. Then you have to alternately place these, like... Away. Ah, like that. There it is. Now we got it. <laughs> I had to get the coordination down. But now if we AFK like this with both of these pressed down, and it's supposed to produce 8,000 pieces of concrete per hour. So, and there we go. And so now we can make tons of white concrete because the hotel that we're going to build is going to use oh so much white concrete. Just tons. So I'm thinking initially we're going to get a couple of double chests. A couple of double chests should do it. And that should give us plenty. Now we are getting a little lost there at the top. A little bit. But I think that's the first couple of ones that I whacked. I wasn't aiming quite. All right, so let me see. So this is Logical Geek Boy's design on his YouTube channel. And let me see. This is from, when did he upload this? Oh, not too bad. This is this past October, so it's fairly recent. And so if you have the latest update, you know, this should... As you can see, it should still work. All right, so uh, his title of it is Easy Lossless Concrete Farms Tutorial, and it's part of his Simply Minecraft series, which is really cool. He just takes a design like this, and he tries to make it as simple as possible so you can use all early game uh, materials on it, and you can get the biggest yield for the least amount of investment in it as possible. And it's really, it's really cool series. I used a couple of his designs. 
Uh, my mob farm was very loosely based on, on one of his. Uh, my trading center, actually, the initial design of the levers that uh, bring the uh, villagers down and have them uh, in the eye line of the zombies that are walking up and down the corridor behind them. That's another one of his simply, um, simply Minecraft designs, too. Of course, I severely modified that, but... All right, so how are we doing? We're about, we've got about two minutes left to the stream. And, you know, I don't think I'm going to do a raid tonight because it's pretty late for me. So, um, I think I'm just going to wrap things up. And, of course, when you stop, it stops. So, let's take a look. Some of it went into our inventory, which isn't too bad. There's a little bit of loss here that we might be able to prevent. But, let's take a look at our old little chest. Ah, uh, we got a little bit of dirt and debris in here. That's fine. That's fine. And we got some in our inventory. We got white concrete, white concrete powder, white concrete powder. We're doing good there. Okay. This is done. Let's take a little bit of a nap. We'll fly up there, and then we'll do our outro. Do any of the blocks go on the other side of the water? Yeah, some of them did. I just, uh, Jeppo, I just went and cleaned up some of them. Uh, we could do a little bit here um, to make them go into the water stream uh, or to put up some barriers here so they won't fall in. Right? It's also the way I was aiming. The first few I was aiming up here. You know, if I, I then adjusted and aimed down here, you want to aim at the wooden block here. And so I was down in this mid-lower area of the wooden block, and then uh, we didn't really lose any. So the first ones that I cleaned up right around here are because I was aiming kind of high up here into the back. Right, so if I do that and you aim downward, move a little bit towards the front. You can see we're not really losing any down the back now. But I think what you're trying to say is you you think that the water stream might need to go in the opposite direction, right? Might need to go from here into the hopper. Yeah, see? I don't know. We're not really losing any down in here, though. I think we're fine. And let's just double check that to make sure I get that right. Yeah, that's the way he has it. So let's throw one in there and let's see what happens. I think the hopper sucks it out of there fa as fast as as it drops. All right, and so if we go around the back side here, I do this. Oh, that's powder. Well, it doesn't matter. It'll still turn to concrete, dummy. But it'll block the water, right? And so if I do that. Yeah, see, the hopper sucks it up before it gets it, before it even gets gets a chance to go over there. The thing is, it really you need the water moving, I think, because uh, you need to suck it from the air right over to this hopper. I think that's what it's trying to do, and it produces so fast that this secondary hopper is just. Um, uh, feeding both of the hoppers here, so you get twice the rate of the um, of the uh, concrete blocks going in, because it produces it so fast. Otherwise, it would all build up because uh, one hopper tick is too slow, and it would build up on the outside. So he's used he's doubling up the hoppers there to increase the speed that it's feeding them into the chest to keep up with the speed that is being produced. So. Yeah, yeah. So it's doing that. It's 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 getting pulled by the second hopper before it even gets past it at all, you know, because it's pulling it much faster than the water is flowing. But the water does need to flow just in case any make it past over there. It could suck it back right over right over there and into the hopper. So I couldn't really have static water there. I, I guess I could, but it probably would slow it down a little tiny bit. Um, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm doing this. 
And like I said, I try to aim low and towards the middle, and I stand slightly off to the side. And then, you know, if I AFK now and use my mouse rig, which I have to show you guys sometime. I don't have it here. It's in the garage. I had to make some adjustments to it. But I have some clamps on it with some threads, and you just set the mouse down inside a cradle that's shaped like the mouse. And then there's uh, some screw clamps that you just twist in, and it presses the uh, mouse buttons down, whichever ones you need. So there's two of them on there. There's one there, and the one on the left mouse button, one for the right. Pretty cool. It's really crude, though, but it works very, very well. And it's certainly better than standing here like this and holding them down, because we know how thrilling this is. Anyways, <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, see, we lost one over here. We didn't lose any other though. Any others though? Now that we're aiming correctly. All right. So let us. Uh, let me see. I think I left all my rockets right in here, right? And I'm going topside because I don't want any lightning down here. That's that's kind of dangerous. Future site of our hotel, right here. Right here, people. Gotta go right about there. Right about there. And then uh let's let's do that. Looking good. And let me see. Let's do our outro. Not all like half block. I hate you. And let me see. So I'm at uh, 0 0.65. So I'm going to keep it right behind me like that. Uh, 65. I want to go a little bit higher than that. No, actually, I want to go low off. Well, let's just see. and he's got positive on this one yes uh simple but you exploded the rockets for the party yeah i used them all up <laughs> that's right in our in our little celebration a celebration of the victory of stage one at least of jeppo's escape plan I'm cleaning up the confetti right now that's what i'm doing okay so this is Thunderhand64, having come to you from the Minecraft Realm server here on a Thursday night. And wow, there's so many of you to thank. There's Jeppo, uh, clearly, uh, Draken for stopping by, Oscar Diggs. Oh my god, the list goes on. It was so much fun. We had, we had, um, uh, Colin was on board for a little bit, and the Tron Slime stopped in, and we also had uh, Big Bean Theory in here, and... Don't think I've forgotten everybody, but if I anybody, but if I have, I forgive you. But we had a rocking little party here, kicked off to an awesome start, and I thought it was a lot of fun. Anyway, so uh, just remember that these weeknight streams are usually, are always Tuesday and Thursdays. They usually start at seven. I got a little start. I got a little late, off to a little late start tonight. But um, I don't know. It didn't seem to affect the stream. I thought we had a great time. But uh, anyways, they're usually at 7 p.m. Uh, we have another another scheduled stream Saturdays at noontime here from the Generations Minecraft Realm server. And then Sundays at 10 a.m. Every Sunday at 10 a.m., of course, it's Kachi time. And we do all kinds of crazy Kachi things with 90-year-old Kachi. And uh, the theme for Kachi time is always embrace the chaos. Uh, I just spectate and I let him make all the decisions. Wise, unwise, uh, you decide, but that's the way it goes. Anyways... <laughs> Uh, but it's always a fun stream to watch. Um, okay, with that, I'm going to sign off. I'm going to wish everybody uh, enjoy the rest of your evening, your morning, your afternoon, wherever you happen to be. And please come on by and see us whenever you can sometime soon because we enjoy having you around. And our usual outro, here we go. My math was off. Impossible. Impossible. Uh, that's why. We need to do which way to fix it? 
Uh, Thunder, we need to do... I'm this way. That's what. Uh, I need to do that. And I need to do this. That's better. Uh, XZ versus XY. Thunder! You can tell I've been teaching a lot of graphing lately. That's why. That's going to be my excuse. Okay, good night, everybody. Thanks for dropping by. See you again soon.